Right, so if you can guess what I'm going to be doing soon, big thanks to Mega Van Mats. Uh, got the carpet out really quick. It was a bit of a mess up with the glue, but they sorted that out as well pretty damn quick. So, really big thanks to Mega Van Mats. Um, can recommend them. If you want any of this four way stretch carpet, this is uh, definitely the good stuff. It's a bit more of money than the other stuff, but let's face it. It's worth it, I think, at the end of the day. So yeah, we're all ready. Just trim back the pop top. I was dreading doing that, but it's only a knife job. It's nothing to it, really. So yeah, that's trimmed back. Um, the light's not great in here. Could open that up, really, but I think I'll uh, see how we go. But yeah, so I think we've got everything ready. It's all covered up. Glass is all covered. We've cut the carpet, so we're just gonna get it in place and then uh, start sticking it on. So, let's see how we get on. Right, so we've got it carpeted this afternoon, one side. In the pop top. Around the windows.
Right. That's it. More or less done. Bit of tidying up to do. Trim that off tomorrow. A little bit of trimming to do on the top, not a lot. It's pretty much nicely in there. Back on the seals all round here. That's not too bad. Yeah, we're arch. Yeah, all right. See if we're gonna have our panels covering them anyway, so that's all good. In there, that seals back on. All good. That's it. Right. Good morning. Right, good morning. Today I'm going to continue carpeting the battery tray area. I've got a couple of pieces of wood that I made up yesterday. Um, and then I'm going to be trying to get them carpeted, fitted in into the uh, under the seat. And then we'll see what we can fit after that. We've got to try and fit under there the Merlin Smart Bank uh, battery to battery charger. And also we we'll want to fit under there the... What else do we want to fit under there? Uh, the Victron 15 amp MPPT charge controller for our solar panel. And we've got a battery underneath there. And I'm sure there's going to be some other stuff that we're going to put underneath there. But I want to make as much space as I can underneath there. Um, so it's looking good at the moment. Just going to continue working on the carpeting. So uh, take a look and let me know. <laughs> Nearly lost it. All right. That's that bit done. Let's go and have a look. See how it looks. It's dead out here. No one about. Everyone's staying at home like they should. Or well, most people. She's good. Pretty nice. Mm -hmm. That'll be alright. Carpet that. We'll put a little screw through the middle there just to keep that on. And if we need to get it off, we can, but it tidies up the end of that bit of metal work. It's horrible looking. But, yeah. Should we do it now? Yeah. 
Oh. Ah. Right. There we go. Now that was quite neat. Yeah, I'll be with that. Could just sew a couple of magnets in there, really. That might be a good thing to do. Put a magnet on it. Just put a screw in it. Magnet, screw, screw, magnet, keep falling off, I think. Battery not charged, yeah. I start the van, regular van battery as well. Uh... Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> A bit looser. So. tray is currently 99% finished. Right, so we've got this back piece. This comes up the back there. And then we've got the batteries in there. I've made a panel that this can be taken out. Give it a little wiggle. So that's going to come out, which allows us to access the battery. I need to change it. Hopefully it will last a while. It usually do. Let's slot that back in there. Nice, and then we've got this little piece here, which houses our switch at the moment for our Merlin Smart Bank battery to battery charger. And we've got our little carpeted pieces there, and a carpeted piece there. And this little piece here allows me to screw a couple of bits to it, so we've got a bit more space in there. Then there's our cables ready to connect. We uh, start hooking everything up. Yeah, well pleased with that. <laughs> 